Hello everyone, I'm Laura and today I'm going to show you how to apply your Jamboree Nail Wraps to your nails if you have curved or dome shaped nails. Um, if you're wondering what those are, uh, some people's nails will curve this way as well as curve that way. So if you have nails like that, um, it's a little harder to apply your Jamboree Nail Wraps because they don't lay flat and you tend to get some bubbles on them. Uh, so there is a fix to that, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, so first off, you are going to need your sheet of Jamboree nail wraps that you want to apply. You'll need a heater, uh, whether it's a Jamboree heater or a blow dryer, either one will work. Um, you need your orange stick, cuticle pusher, nail clippers, um, nail scissors, and then you're also going to need a really good pair of scissors to cut the wraps with. Um, to make the little slits in them. Uh, I took these scissors from my husband's barber set because they cut hair, so they were nice and sharp, so they cut the vinyl very well. Um, I don't like to use the nail scissors just because the scissors themselves are a little bit curved, so uh, sometimes it's just a little harder to see what you're doing. Um, and then I'm also gonna be showing you the baggie method. Um, so you'll need a plastic baggie. Um, this is just a regular sandwich bag. I like the ones like this better than the ones that zip uh, because they're a little bit thinner, so it's a little easier to work with. Uh, so that's everything that you're going to need today. Um, so I've already went ahead and prepped my nails. I washed them with Dawn dish soap first, um, and then I filed them for shape, pushed my cuticles back, and cleaned them with alcohol. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to do my pointer finger. Um, so this second wrap here is the one that I use for my pointer finger. And I am just going to take it off with my orange stick so that I don't touch the back of the wrap at all. Um, that way I don't get any oil on it. Um, and I'm just going to take off a portion of it and cut it. Okay, so that I just have half of the wrap to work with and not the whole piece. It's a little easier this way. Um, and then I'm going to just reposition it on the stick a little bit so that it's a little easier for me to cut the wrap. Um, so when you're cutting the wrap, I found that it's easier if you have the um, back of the wrap facing you versus trying to cut, cut it with the pattern side towards you because it's a little harder to see the cut marks that you made. Um, I'm going to be doing cutting it opposite just so that you guys can see easier um, how I'm cutting the wrap. So you're going to want to make four little cuts and we're going to do one over here, over here, and then on the other sides as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make those cut marks for you. So you see there's a little cut in it and it's just a very small. Okay, so you're just going to make a little tiny slit like that. And we're going to do four of them. Also, just a little tip. It took me a little bit to figure this out and I kept getting frustrated. If you see, the little piece of the wrap is stuck on the um, scissors. I always go through and make sure to wipe that off every single time. It kept getting stuck to the adhesive of the wrap and it would drive me up the wall because I couldn't get it off and then I'd have it stuck under there or I'd get oil all over the adhesive trying to get it off and it's just a, a big mess. So. Um, clean that off every single time you cut your little slit. I'm going to go ahead and cut the other ones real quick. Okay, so now I have my four little cuts, okay? You can see them right there. And this makes a huge difference when applying them to curved nails. So now you're going to um, go ahead and heat up the wrap for however long um, you're supposed to heat it up. 
depending on whatever the finish of the wrap is, and you'll see it, it gets nice and flexible, okay? And I am just going to go ahead and apply it right to my cuticle. Let's see. So it's on my nail there, and you are going to want to push down through the middle first, and then do the sides, um, and I use my cuticle pusher for that, okay? And I do, I push it down through the middle, then I did the two little tops, okay? And now I'm going to do the sides of the wrap. I do the first slit and then sometimes you can take the bottom of the wrap and pull it up to the side a little bit so that the little creases meet okay and it is vinyl so you can you know kind of pull it and stretch it it's not gonna matter okay Now, um, so my wrap is on there. I'm going to cut the end of this off just so that I don't have so much of it. Okay, there you go. It's on a little crooked, but that's okay. Um, all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plastic baggie and I am going to wrap it around my nail and pull it down to make sure that it wraps that wrap right under my nail. This makes a huge difference on the tips of your nails not lifting, okay? So you wrap your baggie like this and then you'll heat it up in front of your heater. It gets hot really fast, so be really careful. Okay, there we go. I had to get the right spot. Okay, so now it's okay. And then I just like to give it one more good push down with my cuticle pusher to make sure I have a nice tight seal around all of the edges. Okay, now I am going to leave this on. I'm not going to file it or do anything. I'm going to wait. I'm going to do this nail and then we'll go back and do the other one. Um, now for this other side I already had it cut, so I will go ahead and apply that real quick. Push it down through the middle first, okay? And we'll take our cuticle pusher and push up this side first, then the other side, and we'll do the two, the little middle piece, okay? See my slits are still kind of up a little bit, and then you can pull that kind of back and towards you. Pull it back and towards you. Okay. And now, when somebody just looks at your nail from afar, they're not going to be able to tell that there's a little slit in there. So, if that's something you're worried about, I wouldn't be worried about it. People never comment on my nails um, uh, on the slit when they see them, so it's not a big deal. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this little piece off. I'm going to use my baggie again. get the baby the passy. Okay, so I got my baggie on there and I'm going to go ahead and paint. I 
nail up. Now, that one's done. You see the wrap is stuck down around my nail. Okay, so now back to this guy. I waited to um, file this nail and I did this one to give this one time to completely cool down. That way when you file it, the bonder is um, nice and cool and it's sealed to your nail. If you file it too soon, um, then it's not going to... Uh, the chances of your tips lifting are, are much better. Um, I forgot, also we'll obviously need a jamber nail file, so, or any kind of nail file. Um, so you'll just file straight down, down only, don't go up and down or side to side, okay? And the bottom of the tip will come right off, and that's it, you're done. You have a jamber nail wrap with no bubbles, and just a nice, pretty seal. Now another tip is, if you see, I have a little um, gap on the side of my nails. Do not be afraid of the gap. It's much better to have a gap on the side of your nails or a little bit of space rather than having your wrap touch your cuticle. If your wrap is touching your cuticle, you're not going to have a good seal. So um, that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I will post my link uh, to my website where you can order Jamboree Nail Wraps at the bottom of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.